So fucking loaded. It's not even funny. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Now even, he's probably even more loaded. I don't even know what to do with that kind of money. I mean, I would easily hire a hitman. <laughs> for who? Or for what? Why not? <laughs> just <laughs> can't go. I don't know. If I could just have him on retainer. Yeah. Just on retainer, bro. Just in case. It's shit. I'd, be, I'd become really, really fucking cool with the cartel. <laughs> <laughs> funny enough. Um, they they told me a story about the cartel with uh, uh, El Chapo. Oh shit! How did that? What happened? So they're about how he got caught. So there was a story that they told, or not even a story. It's what literally happened. So what happened was, is there's this actress who did who does this one show. She's a singer, right? Uh, she might be in singer Mexico, but I'm not. I sure know, sure. I know. Yeah, I've heard this. Yeah, but she's an actress, uh-huh. and she has a show about like. Basically, her being like a part of the cart, not a cartel, but he was, kind of he like, was a fan of hers, right? Like a big fan, kind of. So what happened is she does an episode where she talks about like um, she it um, where she talks about that El Chapo wants to talk to her. She's like, oh, okay, cool. And then after it airs, she does an interview saying like, hey, if I, El Chapo really wants to talk to you, uh, would you let him? She's like, yeah, sure. And so. El Chapo saw that interview and he's like, "All right, bet." So he he invites her to his place and he's all like, "Hey, that noise." He's like, "Hey, obviously you can't have your phone, blah blah, blah and all that stuff." And then there's this camera guy who's like, "Hey, is that all right if I join?" She's like, "You can't ask me, man. You gotta ask El Chapo." And he's like, "Yeah, sure, come on in." And so um, he asked him, and that guy was working for the CIA. He was chipped, fucking narc. He was the narc. And so, boom! After, I'm saying that like like they caught a good guy or something. But I mean, still, yeah, fucking that's some that's some ho shit. Yeah. If you're gonna catch somebody, dude, like you gotta catch them. We gotta catch them fair and square. Oh yeah, not like you know, chip and shit well, and I all mean, that stuff. What's the what the, the all's fair in love and war or whatever the fuck it is? I mean, shit, you gotta do what you gotta do, but still some ho ass shit. <laughs> not some G shit. Free old chapel, man. He don't do nothing wrong. <laughs> I mean, his son is the one who's taking over now. What's his name? Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, I don't fucking know his name. Yeah. All I know is that fool uh, got caught up in one of them damn shootouts mm-hmm. uh, where, like, mad people died. But apparently that was, like, s- scripted. I don't know. Like, the, the Mexican government were like, yeah, we'll, we'll give us him for now. We'll let him out or he'll escape. But it's just so people think that we have control of our country. I don't know, cause this president that they have, they were telling me about it. He's he's done some G shit. So what he's done is that he's like, oh, how much are our politicians making? Oh, they're making this much. Nah, they're gonna make this much, just as much as I'm making. So, like, let's say, like our, like our Congress makes like five times the amount, yeah. five times more than the president does here. Exactly. Some shit like that. He's like, oh, we're we're gonna cut that budget so that way we can save money for the people. And he's like, fuck that. They're gonna make exactly what I'm making. Hmm. And then uh he, and he even told like the people of Mexico, he's like, Hey, if y'all don't like what I'm doing, you can vote me out in three years instead of six. So they have six year terms. Hmm. And he was like, Here you go. I'll let y'all decide. And they decided to let him stay. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? You know, you're like... Some pretty baller shit right yeah, there. Yeah, I was like, oh, shit. You don't like the changes I'm making? See, we that's what we need, yeah. bro. We need some, some wild yeah. ass shit here. Because, I mean, obviously, the cartels, they're going to stay just because their biggest demand is the states. Hmm. It's not Mexico. It's yeah. literally the states. Yeah. So, I mean, like, it is what it is. That hole is there. And if that hole is gone, there's going to be another cartel somewhere around, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess kind of on topic, but off topic, I saw the uh, episode of Tiger Belly where he had Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on, which I was like, the fuck? One of the Kennedys? The, the the, The presidential candidate. Oh, okay. Yeah, like the guy who's running. His was on Tiger Belly, which I was like, what the fuck? How does that even happen? Uh, 
his wife, Cheryl Hines. I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie, RV. No. Well, she's a, like a comedic actress or a comedian, or whatever. Okay. She's on a Curb Your Enthusiasm. They really wanted her. She's like, hey, do you mind if I bring my husband? They're like, oh, you mean the fucking presidential candidate? Yeah. Go <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah, of on. course. Yeah. But man, that guy, he's following his dad's footsteps, which I guess is unite everyone as much as you can by telling the truth. And I get that, which would be great. I just don't think that. Well, I guess you're never ready for it. I guess a, a nation is never ready for that. It would take time. But, I mean, the thing is, they give these presidents four-year terms, and then they can only do so much in that four years, and then they can immediately get wiped out. Wiped out oh, yeah, 100%. By someone else. So say that shit does, you do see some, like, really good results from it, and then what? That's it. What if he doesn't get voted in a second? He's 70 years old, bro. Like... You know, like who's going to pick up after him? Yeah, who's going to pick up the, the... That's the thing That's the thing that we're talking about after... Because uh, the presidency is about... His term is about to end over there in Mexico, too. And he, they were just like, what's going to happen next? What are they... How, how, how does that system work? Because you only get one term? You get one term, but for six years. Damn. Yeah, right? That sucks because if someone's doing really good... Well, no, no, that's just dictatorship at that point. Exactly. That's the thing. They made a law, a huge law, about, like, you can't run twice. Because, obviously, because a lot of dictatorships, yeah. uh, what's going on in Venezuela, they, they have a dictatorship that's going mm-hmm. on over there, too. So, he's, it is, you know, it is what it is. But I wish they would have been like, hey, I have this trustee who I think should be a good candidate. But, but isn't there something against that here? Like you can't, because I think that was the thing that they were worried about with Trump. They were like, he's gonna, he'll get in, and I then it was an Eric, whatever the son, and then his son, and then his son, because everyone's gonna keep right. Going. No, I, I want to say like a son thing, like more of like I would say like somebody that's been working together, not like a vice, I guess like a, like vice a vice president, president, yeah. president, but be like, hey, I trust this guy. We yeah, have the same views. That, then who that person brings on has to. Do the same, same thing. thing, yeah. yeah. So. so it's kind. Of- yeah, I I don't know about um, like when it comes to family or anything, but as far as I know, there really isn't any law against yeah, something state, like yeah, that. You, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, because I mean, realistically, it's by the people. Mm-hmm. So by the people. Yeah. Yeah. By the people spelt Congress. Yeah. Yeah. But either way. I just know we need to... But was the interview good or no? It was funny. Like, they didn't really... He went into a little bit about... Uh, politics. Politics. He, he just kind of asked him why he wanted to run, and he was basically saying, like, I'm going to pick up where my dad left off, doing the same thing. And I didn't know that fool was in the car when his dad got fucking bodied up like that. Were? Yeah. Him and his mom were both... Oh. Was his mom, I knew that. Oh, but yeah, was, 100%. I didn't know he no, was I didn't there. know he was in there. He was like, I was with my dad when he got assassinated. I was like, oh, shit. Because he kind of, like, let down a... A tear. a tear and shit. He was like, for as much as the media said that people hated him, whenever they were, uh, where were they going through? Somewhere in New York, I think. I don't remember the state, but it's supposed to be like a 20 minute uh, train trip or something like that. Yeah. But it, it took seven hours for them to get to their destination because people from all around the country were showing up to show their That's respects nice. and all that shit. And they're like, you know, like, I don't know where the media is getting this information from, but this isn't how our state felt or blah 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 or you know whatever so we'll see mm. it'll be nice if everybody was united again oh 100 percent. but but that's what i said i don't see. know if i don't know if uh if if a nation is ever truly necessarily ready for that shit just because it's always gonna you're always gonna have those people who want teams mm-hmm. yeah like legit teams oh yeah so 100%. and then when you know especially when it comes to politics yeah like, that's what everyone rests their fucking dick on these days, honestly. For real. Just like, oh, is he left or right? It's like, yeah. it doesn't matter. What about him being good or bad? The fuck? No, he has to be left. No, he has to be right. I don't care. Just let him... Just just do good things for the people. That's it. The problem is, is sometimes doing good things for the people requires a lot of sacrifices. Then you start looking like a bad guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's that? Hence, like, kings and shit. What's that saying that they say? Uh, be do good and uh, no, what was it? Live long, uh, live long enough for them to, to yeah, 
Do you die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain? Yeah, there you go. Harvey Dent. There you go. Hell yeah. Gang, gang. Dude, I had an idea for a for a show, like a podcast. It's called uh, May, uh, New Friends. New Friends? New Friends. Okay. So we all sit sit around with a sign that just says, want to make a new friend? We just, random person. We just talk to them. And just hang out. Just hang out. Hey, man. How's it going? Maybe make a new friend. Okay. And but but we, we can't, but in order to secure a friend, you can't be like, where do you stand politically? Just ask oh, like, nah. you know, like, what, what do you, like, what's an irrational fear you have or some shit, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's just like a regular, a regular topic. conversation yeah. that you would maybe ask to get to know someone. But what if we don't like them? <laughs> what then? Then we didn't make a new friend. Okay. I thought it was just going to be like, oh, okay. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> like a whipped cream pie yeah. kind of thing. Just, ah, sorry, man, but it just didn't work out. Yeah, there, there's there's definitely fault with it. Like, you're not going to be cool with everybody. Oh, 100%. But that's the whole, that would be the whole purpose. Like, hmm. how many can you make? Okay. I feel like that'd be cool. That'd be fun. <laughs> but where, where are we going to post up? Anywhere. All we need is one of them janky ass tables from Home Depot. <laughs> that thing's like forty bucks or something like that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hell yeah. I feel like we could do that shit just like a raggedy ass line. We get Brian to use his shitty handwriting. Wanna make a new friend? Wanna make a new friend. We'll just have like another fucking the R's uh, Yeah, reverse. like the Toys R Us, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit. I don't know, I feel like that would that would be a, a cool, cool idea. Okay. Well, yeah, that'd be dope. Was it a? Uh, I've been seeing on Facebook lately about Colin Kaepernick of him going back to team the Jets or something yeah. like that. Is that true or? I think. What's the, going uh, on? The quarterback that they signed for like seventy five million, four plays in uh, to his new team and I guess the start of a new career. I guess he uh, tore his. Uh, he blew out his Achilles. <sighs> Fuck. But he was also like forty years old. Oh okay. On turf. Which is not good for like whenever it rains, it's essentially like slick. slick. Mm. And so like they use regular NFL like cleats on grass for that shit. It doesn't work. So you have to have like turf cleats, which they clearly didn't do. So it, it bar- he's since you know he's forty. It didn't look the injury. The injury didn't look super significant. But then he stands up and tries to walk and just sits right back down. And you're like, oh fuck. So yeah, that's why they're. They're like, mm, <laughs> maybe, yeah, <laughs> no, dude, because I've been seeing the like the uh, the comment section of it, and they're all like, just let it go, dog. Like you, you've done this before. You fucked up, and I was like, damn, bro, like you know, Jesus. He he kneels down for one game, and that's it. But I mean, shit. I think it was more than one, but oh, it's yeah, it's the well. Whenever he did try to come back, the problem is he didn't go about it the right way. A team was willing to. Uh, watch him like watch him play and see if he still had the arm and the accuracy and shit so but instead of using the receivers that they wanted on the field that they wanted he completely swapped everything up last minute which made it look real sketchy hmm. like no i don't want to go to that stadium i want to do it at this high school field with these receivers and blah 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 and what's funny is like two of those receivers that he brought they ended up getting signed to the nice. nfl but he didn't because they're like no like this is fucking weird like this is sketchy well, why are you doing this? like we were, we were giving you a legit chance to get back in the NFL, and this is what you did. Right. Fuck off. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I mean, like, at first I was like, okay, I get, I understand. And then after a while, you're like, mm, you're kind of being weird about it. And then after he did that show, I was like, all right, you don't want to play. Fuck right. off. <laughs> Fuck off, Cap. Fuck off. Fuck off, Cap. But again, those those comment sections on there, I was like, God damn, they're tearing his ass up. I haven't really seen much, but I, I imagine... Yeah. Pretty crazy. Yeah, they're going in ham on his ass. I was like, God mm-hmm. damn. Mm, oh, another thing that happened throughout the week. Cash app glitch, bro. Another one. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but after the one that we sent, or is it uh, what you're talking the, about? Oh, no, the one that we sent, we talked about was the last year or whatever. Okay. What, what app was that? I think that was Cash App, right? There's other... It's one of the Cash App or PayPal. One, one of the one of the two, but this one I don't know what I think. What people were able to do was like add money to their account or something like that, and it, like the fees weren't being like 
pulled from their bank or some shit like that. So these fools were adding like trillions of dollars to their cash out cards. Yeah, like a shit ton of yeah, money. Yeah, fucking. So that one dude was uh, 10 quintillion. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I think like physical amount of money, out digital side, physical money in the world was like 82 trillion. Yeah. 10 quintillion, bro. How are you in debt? <laughs> How are you more in debt than the money exists on this planet? That's fucking crazy. Like twice over. You're more in debt than the fucking United States. Well, yeah, well, easily. <laughs> We're only like, what, 8 trillion in debt or something? Yeah. Which is, I say only, but I mean, in comparison to 10 quintillion, that's fucking insane. <laughs> First of all, how much money do you fucking need? Bro, I was, I was telling the bar, I was like, yo, this motherfucker bought the solar system, dog. He must have bought some some crazy shit to be 10 quintillion in debt. I can't even think of, I couldn't think of one thing that would cost a trillion dollars. He ain't lying. Wait, so what did he do with? Fuck if I know. I don't know. Because the first, so the first video we saw, it was like two, two trillion, I think in debt, or maybe like maybe a little more, two something trillion. And I was like, holy fuck, he's never gonna pay that off. <laughs> That's like Uruguay, <laughs> like you're just buying a fucking small country. Yeah. At that point, I was like, That's insane. And then they just kept coming. One guy was like, ten trillion in debt. He was like, Look, this shit's still going up. <laughs> and then. uh one guy was like, yo, check this shit out. It was just like one <laughs> just zeros across this whole fucking screen. And I like, I paused it. I was like, fuck it. So I went to the comments and someone was like, for anyone wondering, that's quintillion. And I was like, bro, that is. <laughs> that's fucking insane. I just can't. Like I said, bro, if you gave me a trillion dollars right now, I don't think I could spend it in a day like that. Fuck no. I don't even, I couldn't even process Something that would cost that much. The government. What the f- yeah, but, oh, yeah, but even then, like, you know, they the, the nation is two trillion in debt. I don't think they are. Like, it's just it's a weird thing with them. Like, but either way, I just feel like two trillion, that's an ass load of money. For real. To begin with. I think you're just playing around with it. Yeah. I think you're <laughs> trying to see how much you could actually <laughs> But the thing is you literally had to pay it back. You, that's, I mean, that's your generational debt, like for, I don't know, that's for like years. Forever, honestly. Every like, year. this fucking country who gets taxed daily. Oh, yeah. Can't even pay off two trillion or however much it is we're in debt. One guy who probably works at fucking five guys. <laughs> you think this whole fucking ever going to pay this shit off? So, yeah, so, uh, like so imagine you take out two trillion dollars and you spend like a thousand or four thousand dollars of it and you have to pay ca- uh um cash app back but you still are four thousand dollars in the hole you still gotta pay pay up that four four thousand plus interest plus whatever deal that you have to do with cash app just because fucked yeah super fucked because I'm pretty sure he didn't spend all the fucking quintillion. No, no. I think again. I think what it was is they were just pulling from like the the cash app, the app, yeah. putting it on their card. So they're like this. At one point, this dude was walking around with ten quintillion on his fucking card. Mm-hmm. That's fucking insane to me, bro. But again, like if he spent like more over than like four or five, six thousand dollars, that wants to pay it back. I don't even know how much he. Spent. Like, Jesus Christ. Because I know a lot of people were crying because they were like, I don't know how I'm going to pay this back. And you're just like, what'd you spend it on? Every time I'm, there's like a glitch like that, I just steer clear of it. I'm oh, like, fuck yeah. that mm. noise. Oh, it was uh, Uber or DoorDash last time, remember? Oh, it was DoorDash. Yeah, because yeah, they, yeah, they were tipping yeah. like a million dollars and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Was yeah. DoorDash. Yeah, yeah, yeah the fools were know. fucking going goddamn bananas with that shit. <laughs> like word, I can get this. Fuck it, I'm gonna get a fucking TV. <laughs> Which whichever one it was that lets you g- get shit from like Walmart, because remember, like people were buying like TVs mm-hmm. and fucking PS5s and Xboxes and yeah. shit. So yeah, whichever one that was, and then them fools ended up having to pay all that back. Oh yeah, they guarantee you, some of those people are 
still easily paying that off like to this day. Hell yeah. 100%. I wouldn't but like a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. Which yeah. I kind of want to see if there's any TikToks of like the aftermath of that, you know, like, oh, this is the aftermath episode of what happened with DoorDash. Uh, I'm still in debt and uh, I don't think I'm still gonna, ever going to pay this yeah, back. I think, I, I think I'm going to die with <laughs> this over this my up. head. So <laughs> The guy that it's up to him, $4 million. Please give it back. Yeah, exactly. yeah I remember are. talking about that. Like, what do they do for the tips? It's not their fault. Yeah. You can't like accept or deny a tip. Not that I remember, but I think you just kind of like get it and you can say like, thank you or right. something like that. So Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like you can just be like, no. She sent me four mil. Hell yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Shit. I'll suck you up. Yeah. I'm not working for fucking DoorDash no more. I can tell you that much. Shit. Shit. Not after that day. Hell no. Cash it out. There you go. Mm-mm. Exactly. Can you imagine like so many people cashing out four mil. Five mil. Didn't one dude get like ten mil or some shit? I think so, yeah. They're like it ain't my money. Like what I mean, how do you even go about that? You can't you couldn't even pull that money out fast enough before the banks were like, What the fuck? What are you Hold doing? On. Just like, yesterday you had seven dollars all of a sudden <laughs> all of a sudden you have ten million. Get the fuck, Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, IRS would be like, Yeah, Whoa. exactly. Yeah. Like, hold on. Where's our where's our side of the money? And then I can't even imagine if fucking the IRS got it to his ass. The quintillion guy, just like, yo, 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 yo. Bro. Hey, yo, my man. I would just, I would like try to work out some kind of deal. Like, how much time do I got to do to get this shit off me? Because <laughs> if, you, if they even let broke. you. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't even know if that would be criminal. I think that'd be a civil case. Is it? might be because due to their error i mean yeah you knew but uh, again i don't know i mean i guess it could be theft it's definitely that yeah 100 <laughs> percent. but and it's more of two thousand dollars so it's yeah because remember federal. who's that one guy who woke up with like x amount of uh, money in his in his account, it was in like South America or some shit. He just dipped out, like he moved or some shit. Like that wasn't even his fault at all. They just accidentally put too much money. Yeah, and he and well, obviously it was his fault for leaving. Yeah, but like, had he not done, said anything or done anything about it, just totally forgot, they probably would have been like, oh, well, yeah, it's our fault. Now, had he spent an ass load of that money, then yeah, then yeah. it's definitely your fault. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then you're fucked. And then you got to pay that back. Yeah. Or you go to jail. So, uh, RIP, dog. Your life is gone. <laughs> you're going to be in generational debt. Generational. Mm. Like a motherfucker. Damn, 10 quintillion, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, how, w- how would you feel if you were 10, quint- t- 10 quintillion in debt? Are you off yourself? Oh, yeah, easily. <laughs> so I ain't got to no do this shit no more. <laughs> Fuck this. The good thing is I don't have kids, so it's not going to anyone else. It's going to die with me. Yeah, true. Well, how does that work if you don't have, like, any immediate family? Does it just go on to, like, the next of kin or some shit? I wouldn't know you at all I, at that point. I <laughs> don't know how... Um, debt, works. debt works like that. So I would have to look that up. But I think realistically, uh, I think it's an inherent to inheritance thing. But I don't know if. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. So when someone dies, their debts are generally paid out of the money or property left in the estate. If the estate can't pay it and there's no one who who shared responsibility for the debt, it just goes unpaid. Really? Damn. So that's it. I guess. That's That's, what it said. That was from August of 2023. That's why they want co-signers on everything. Oh. Yeah. So that way when shit goes down. If one person, yeah, then it'll go to the other person who signed. Oh shit! No, hmm. right. makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So basically, just don't cosign shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just don't much. be that cosign. Don't co- yeah, don't 
Definitely don't let. Dude, I remember one time Abraham was like trying to get. This may have been like 2019, 2018, 2019, something like that. Yeah. I was trying to get like a 2019 car and was like, Sarah, I'm not going to lose my job. I need you to co sign. And I was like, absolutely not. That first science fucking says I was it all. Like, I was like, hell no. He ended up losing his job. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't even his fault. I think that company just closed down. Yeah. He was like, I just don't see it happen. I don't see it happen. I just don't know why she can't do it. I'm like, I'm telling you why she can't do it. I'm saying fucking no. <laughs> like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. And it's a good thing you did. Yeah, I was Shit. like, absolutely not. Sarah was like, is he, is he fucking crazy? No, like that's no. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, Fuck that's no. nuts. I was like, no, no, mm. no, no, no. Fuck that noise. Hell no. Uh-uh. 2019 car. Yeah, brand it was like, new. dude, it was like a fucking thirty nine thousand dollar car or some shit. What? What? what I don't even brand? remember. Okay. It was like we went up there. He was like, "This is the car I want." And then as soon as they, they were like, "You have like zero credit. Like you can't. You would need like five thousand down or a cosigner so you can walk away." With putting down like I don't know three hundred or some shit whatever that is they make you pay for a cosign or whatever, yeah. and he was like I got that, so he'd start calling and I was like, no hell no hell yeah then I, no. like he was like he called Sarah's mom and I was like dude, you got to stop yeah nobody's gonna fucking cosign for you hell no go get your fucking cash car yeah there I think you go. that's what he ended up doing for a while and I was like bro you got to stop no one's fucking cosigning for you Mm-mm. I'm not gonna let him <laughs> like yeah, if you- it was like. Maybe if it was like a four thousand dollar car, okay, whatever, you know, like some Dang shit, yeah, yeah, something that you could put like a hundred down, five hundred down, whatever. I'm like, all right, thirty nine thousand. Mm 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 mm. Don't do it to yourself. Yeah, this bitch was brand new too. I think it only had like the test miles on it, so like what less than a hundred. Yeah, I'm like fuck that. Mm mm. Meanwhile, Sarah ride, Sarah driving around in a. Raggedy ass Honda. I'm like, <laughs> Mitch. Shit, I wish you fucking would co sign for somebody. Yeah. She had the raggedy Honda. You had the raggedy truck. Yeah. 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 Hell no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. That, my truck took only 45 minutes to even start to think about cooling down. <laughs> so shit. <laughs> you think I'm gonna fucking park this car in the garage or in the driveway where you get to park your brand new? Fuck you. Uh-uh. <laughs> shit. Hell no. And he, that's what he probably done too. Just take up the whole garage. I don't know. I, I mean, well, now he has to know. He's got that Camaro. He just parks in the street. But still, like that's that's under his name. Yeah. I was like, there you go. Save up some money. Get you a nice little car. There you go. Or whatever the hell it is you want under your name. <laughs> <laughs> but under other people's name? Mm-mm, hell no. Like, my wife's. You got your fucking mind? Shit. Shit. Hell no. As a as a fucking old motherfucker now, like. Yeah, <laughs> I look at that. I'm like, man, probably really fucked up somebody's credit at one point, <laughs> like having them come sign for me. They get my mom. Oh, like I had that cobalt, bro. I was so bad with money; it wasn't even ridiculous. Twenty four, I was spending like, I would get my check, eight hundred, eight hundred of it would be gone, like within the first couple of hours of getting paid, just buying stupid shit. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I've been your age. I know exactly what's gonna the happen. way you, you're thinking. Like, yeah. you want this, 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 and then the rest yeah. maybe go to the car. Maybe go to the car if you even have any left over. Right. Yeah, I was like, fuck that noise. Mm-hmm. I've been your age, dog. <laughs> I've seen it happen. <laughs> I've been the cause of many problems. <laughs> <laughs> if you look up problems, yeah. right now. trust me, bro. <laughs> Oh shit. That's funny. Goddamn. <laughs> oh, dude. Y'all got that, that link I sent y'all of the fucking mummified aliens in Mexico? Sure. Uh, I've been seeing posts on it. Yeah. Bro, what yeah. the hell? I, I just, why did, how do they look that goddamn stereotypical? I oh, think right. someone planted it. You oh, know? 100%. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they're, they're like paper mache or some yeah. dumb yeah. shit. They're they're probably like, hey, look, we got something shiny here. At, like the most effort I can see going into that is maybe they carved them out of stone. Right. But like that shit looks so stereotypical. I was like, bro, that if that ain't some men in black shit, I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> this is from straight out of a Dude, movie. Somebody, I think it was Ryan from Tuck Shop, he posted something earlier and it was like, it has now been discovered that the uh the aliens are now or or I think they're cake or something like that. So they were like cutting slices out of it or some shit. <laughs> 
I was like, God damn it. <laughs> it's tres leches. Yeah, yeah, for real, for real shit. <laughs> I was like, that makes more sense than the hoes being real. For real, fuck that. And I'm, will, I'm willing to take that L if those are legit aliens, but they just look so fake, bro. Like, there's not even... There's no way yeah. they're real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> on TikTok, people were talking about it, and I was like, what the fuck? And then I remembered the link, and I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah I know what's going on. See, aliens in Mexico. Bro, them hoes look so stereotypical. Like, like whoever it is, the, the, look at this shit. It's all straight. Yeah, it's like, there's no way. What the hell is that? No, oh, so yeah. small. It's like, no. I think I saw somewhere it was like, uh, there it goes, yeah. Alien alien bodies presented in Mexican Congress panned as stunt. Probably as a stunt. But somebody was saying that they did x-rays on one of them and there was eggs in there. Yeah. Like, so these motherfuckers are reptilian? The fuck? Yeah, so. Nah. I don't see that shit being real at all. And we they, they would have made a bigger fuss. Yeah. Well, because earlier this year, wasn't it like they, there was like some meeting where some guy was like, yeah, we have evidence of aliens. Well, it actually wasn't that long ago, like a couple months back. Mm-hmm. Now, all of a sudden, this shit happens. I think Come it's on. just, we, we're we all getting, you know. Yeah, they're they're trying to pull the wool over. Yeah, they're like, hey, look here, you know, and we just been some, like. Yeah, some, something bigger's happening where they're, yeah. now all of a sudden, y'all want to start talking about aliens. Shut mm-hmm. the fuck up. Like fuck, we can't we can't get anything around these guys anymore. Fuck, what do we do? And you know what's funny is like, let's say that shit is one hundred percent real. You know, fucked up. You fucked us up. Not even that, bro. But like, like th- we still gonna just make memes and laugh at it. So, <laughs> <laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> Be like, hey, yo, let me tap that ass real quick. <laughs> there he is, homeboy fucked an alien. <laughs> there he is, homeboy fucked an alien once. Oh, okay. Get ass out of this world. Yeah, bro. We can't fucking take anything serious. Hell no. Hell no. Especially as much as they bullshitted us for years now. Yeah. I mean, ever since the the inception of U.S. government, come on, bro. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna believe. We're not gonna take anything you'll say serious. Why would y'all have it on a televised uh, trial? Yeah. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Hell no. Not fuck. Like if something were to leak, like. Like random people, like not on the news, see like the pictures and shit. I'd be like, oh fuck, this might be real. <laughs> like, you know, like just like TikToks or shit, or like actual pictures, and they all look the same. I'd be like, oh shit, I think we might be in some trouble. Right. But for y'all to just bring it out like that, hell no. I think the I would start believing it is when they do like that uh, warning or uh, the alarm shit that they do, but on every device, like every device, being like, yeah. hey. Like, even on the TV, just like, hey. Like on signs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, hey, we fucked up. They're real. And, uh, oops. What about some mijo? Always gotta pee. And that's when I would, like, you know, be like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I wouldn't. I'd probably shit my pants, honestly. If that was a real thing and yeah. like, the warning, like, hey, we're fucked type thing. I probably, I don't know, the first thing I'll probably do is just go talk shit to someone I don't like. <laughs> like that video. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. And then after that, just kind of sit and, and drown your sorrows for a second and be like, all right, I still got to go to work. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the first thing I'm fucking doing is quitting any job I have. <laughs> Assuming I have one, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it called? I need a... Uh, Mental health day? Yeah, yeah, for real. 100%. Bro, I don't know, uh, over there at uh, the university, they get like three hours a week worth of that shit. Mental health? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's a thing now. It's a... Do what? Yeah. They get like, they can just like, if they want to leave an hour early, they can just do that. Mental health? Kind yeah. Kind of like thing. They even get like mental health days. Mm-hmm. They can just like take it off and they get paid for it. So pay time off. Yeah, but but it's not but it's not PTO. Off. It doesn't it doesn't affect your PTO. It's a mental health day. Yeah. Okay. Stay woke. I'm just saying, bro. I wish we would have had that shit when we were younger. No shit. Can't yeah, tell you how many times I would have. <laughs> like, like, like working for the school. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Be like, hey, I'm taking it's, a mental. Yeah, they're health very day. very woke. Yeah. Like very. Which the A and M. Yeah. 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 That's kind of. One of the reasons why 
I haven't signed up for any classes or anything. Why? They, they have some classes I want to take, but I just don't think I'd do good in a school environment. Well, that's all universities, dog. Yeah. I know. I, I went to school up there in Washington. and <sighs> Yeah. I mean, you might as well take the classes. I mean, because, I mean, you know, like. Or just go to Blinn. Yeah. Where you don't have to spend as much. Yeah, but the, it's not. It's not that I'm looking for a degree. I'm looking for certain classes just to take. Such as? Uh, like computer programming, stuff like that. Yeah, go to Blinn. Mm. Much cheaper. And you don't have to take any extra bullshit classes. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's, they that's, offer it. that's technically because I know like A and M also has like the video game design and stuff like that. So does Blim. Do they? And again, you don't have to take as many bullshit classes. Like you don't need fucking, I don't know, South American art, right? To get your yeah, they, basics. I think they were saying that I would need like math and stuff like that. Well, more than that, like you need you need because. Uh, even if say you do to gra- you do graduate with everything that you want, you won't have enough credits to get that yeah. certificate, license, degree, whatever diploma, whatever it may be. It's all about the credits. That's where if you go to like a trade school or something like that, where what is now considered a trade uh, programming, a skill in a trade, you can actually just go for that and that only. Without, but with just bypassing all the extra bullshit that you don't need. Mm. Look into ACC and they might have it too. For real? Yeah. ACC. ACC, yeah. HCC, all those community colleges. Yeah, they offer those programs. Yeah. Where you don't have to do anything but what you want to learn. Mm. That's where, yeah, a degree from A&M probably looks nicer, but also you're going to leave with a bunch of shit you didn't care to learn about. Right. And you do have to take some bullshit classes yeah. to get those credits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause it's bullshit. Can't remember. I think whenever Sarah, Sarah was like doing one class, it was like a welding class or some shit. That's because she needed some type of like a uh, skill credit. I'll class? ask her. Yeah. But yeah, it was something. She took a welding class. I think so. Or it was she, like some type of like. Let me ask her. But yeah, she had to like build stuff, but it was like with metal and shit. It wasn't like clay. It was like a legit. What the fuck? Yeah. Like if she took a welding class, bro. But if she did, it was just for the credit. Tell her to make us a barbecue pit. <laughs> Smoker. 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 Yeah, Smoker. There you go. We we have demands. She has the needs. Because I want to go get one of those big ass briskets and All right. smoke it for like 18 hours. Hey, I actually know a welder who makes barbecue pits. Yeah. No, I, they have... Smokers over at B&B's are not very big, but they're... Something. Yeah, they're something. I could get one of those if I wanted to, but they're like 250 bucks. Okay. I mean, they look nice, though. But, yeah. But if Sarah can make it... No, she said it was uh, it was something else. Damn. Why'd you, why'd you get her hopes up, man? I thought, it, I, thought it was, uh, I thought it was something like that. Damn. Me like, whoa! You had a well. I remember, I remember she took like a pottery class, and then there was something else that she had to take with that in order to get like a full credit. Like one class was like a half credit or some shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, if you just go through like a community college, you maybe can get she in was, and out faster. Maybe she was trying to get credits to qualify for aid. That so too. Kind of Sometimes you because you, you need like minimum certain amount of uh, credits, like. Mm-hmm. Uh, semester credits to qualify for financial aid or something like that. Because I know uh, for uh, the GI Bill, I had to have I had to have a certain class load in order to um, qualify hmm. to collect. So hmm. I don't know. I know it was something. I'll ask her whenever she is back. But it was. Like that w- that one class was like a half qu- half a credit or some shit. Yeah. But she was in there for a whole year. Right. And I was like, that's fucking gay, dude. Like, why can't you half just... a credit? Yeah. 
But but if you did that with another class, some yeah, that's a full random ass class, it was a full credit. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. That's those big universities for you. That's why I'm like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, like, for the cooking classes and stuff I took, like, the... Like, they were usually part of a set. So, you had your um, instruction. Like, it'd basically just be, like, talking about it in a classroom and stuff like that. And then you had the lab. And then we had the, the lab. Yeah. Where we were actually, like, cooking and doing stuff. And they were two separate things, but, like, the classroom part of it was only, like, one credit or, like, half credit or something like that, mm -hmm. whereas the lab was, like, eight eight or ten credits, something like that. Damn. So. Hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, she can't remember. No. <laughs> yeah. Trash. Trash. But, yeah, that's what I would do for. That's what I would do for. I would look into community college straight up. Hell, yeah. If not, there's always the trades. You're full fucked up, man. You can't do it. Plus, I think if you, you can't make too much, right? With, oh, no, never mind. That's not disability. Yeah. Yeah, with VA, you can make as much as you want. Like, if you get a disability check, you, can, oh, yeah, you, you can't work at all, really. Yeah. Or you'll get, they'll cut that shit off. Like, well, with the you VA, can work. Yeah. The VA, yeah, I think it's, I believe it's different. I don't yeah, know. it's different because basically they're paying me in lost wages. For jobs I could have qualified for. Right. Mm. So. Alias. Because technically I have skills that qualify me for pretty decent jobs. Right. At least better than what I've had. Well, you only have one job, right? Two? No. Since I've. Did you get out? Since I've gotten here to Texas? Nice. One, three. Two. At least three or four. Three, four. Oh, I forgot you were with my mom. Yeah. Yeah. He was at Subway. He was with your mom. He was at Mama's Kitchen. Oh, yeah. He was at uh, the hotel, motel with uh, yeah. the janky ass shit. Yeah. yeah. JC. And then uh, that's all I remember. So. Four or five, four? yeah. That post. If I need a job, I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so good. <laughs> Who needs a job, Brian? I'm shit. outside. <laughs> shit, Negro. That's all you had to say. <laughs> oh, and uh, DoorDash. DoorDash. Oh, yeah. 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 There you go. So yeah, yeah. Five. five. <laughs> Beasy said, dum, 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 dum. <laughs> "Heard y'all hired around this motherfucker." So. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all looking for people I'm your people <laughs> What's the word on that shit <laughs> I mean but does that not show initiative For real yeah <laughs> Brian just kicks door like SWAT <laughs> Let me get one of the motherfucking applications <laughs> Yo hide the gun My man Shit Shit well give me the job <laughs> Fuck Just give us the gun <laughs> Stop pointing the gun at old Betsy over there <laughs> It's not her fault Fuck <laughs> Stupid I'm outside <laughs> That shit was funny it was fun. I know you were messaging her But it's funny cause Like the fact that she didn't even like Post the address or anything You were just like I'm outside bitch. <laughs> Where, <laughs> Where's this motherfucking job <laughs> She's like what the fuck She's all scared <laughs> Oh shit! God called damn. her husband Robbie. This crazy ass motherfucker <laughs> went to school with his outside. I'm like, fuck. Oh shit, that's wild. That was funny as shit. Cause we all saw that on fucking Facebook. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, we were just reading the comments. We're like, oh shit. Brian's like, word. And then later, I'm outside. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, it just goes from like, I'm looking, I'm outside, or whatever the hell it was before yeah. that. I just remember that I'm outside. I was like, this fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Oh man That's funny as hell <laughs> Stupid ass Brian <laughs> But it does remind me of your mom too Where uh, you announced that you, you were finally dating And then your mom's like Oh yeah With the memes like the boy boy or girl, uh, or She's girl. like what's going on here <laughs> I was like damn Your mom has the roast 
She is German. Ah, dude. Oh, last I think it was like a few episodes ago. We we're talking about like cuck porn and like cucks and shit like that. Yeah. What's worse, that watching your old lady get smashed out on, or enjoying having your ball stomped on. Neither. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. I don't think it, it, neither of those choices are desirable. <laughs> yeah. To me, anyway. The cuck is worse. Yeah. Yeah. There's like some mental shit going on there. Yeah. yeah. Well, definitely. same with the ball thing, stomping. too. Yeah. Yeah. But I can understand that. The pain. Got lay back down here. Pain giving pleasure kind of thing. Because mm-hmm. that is a kink form of BDSM. Yeah. I guess technically. But. The cuck thing, that is... Mm-mm. That's not something wrong with you. Yeah, that is... That is weird. Because it's hard to say where the cuck stems from. The BDSM thing could stem from a lot of places, but at least there's like... It's within like range of trying to... You can kind of figure out like, oh, yeah, maybe this person unfortunately was touched as a kid or... Something. Beaten or something, you know, something of that dark nature... With a cuck thing, it's like, okay, where does that come from? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, why? Why? why I look, you want to have someone who enjoys that on. Like, that would be a really interesting conversation. Like, yo, or actually a very fast conversation. But I still just want to know, <laughs> just to have like, why, bro? Like, what do you get out of this shit? Honestly, we Man could just call them in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That'd be a good calling one. Like, yeah. Hey, why? Why do you like watching? Yeah, I just don't, I don't know. I'll never understand that one. Mm-mm. Unless somebody would actually break it down for me. Yeah. I just, I don't get it. It's very. Ooh, is it on Ask Reddit? Is there like a, a thread on there? For, try to find out. Because that means something, you know, you never know. Reddit has everything. True. So someone might have asked on there and be like, hey, why do I like watching? <laughs> just going to type in, why do people enjoy being cucked. Cucked. And it's such a like like the word itself. I don't know what it is, yeah, but it's, it's degrading. Very, it's like yeah. it's just Yeah. It's it's cucked. a very hard word. You know, a lot of hard syllables, so it sounds very degrading. Yeah. I mean, which obviously it is. I feel better if you call me cunt than cucked. Hmm. There's way too many answers. Okay. One of them said, part of what makes cuckolding arousing for heterosexual men is that they tend to view it as a taboo act in a society or culture that idealizes monogamy. The cuckold fantasy is a current narrative that is available to people who uh, to conceptualize their sexual fantasies. Okay, and then the other one was, uh, because they are sticking around after the betrayal. They both don't make sense. Yeah, I feel like it's like a variation of swinger. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, but because with swinging, obviously, you know, swap partners. Yeah, but you're both like getting that. something. Everyone's yeah, getting something. Yeah, everyone's getting something. something. But but one watching and being happy about it, it's just there's no way. No, there's no way. There's uh, no fucking way. Honestly, like I feel like in a lot of cuck situations, the person being cucked, it's probably not their idea, and I feel like they do some mental gymnastics to tell them that. Really? Tell themselves that they enjoy it. Right. Hmm. I can see that. Just because why would one person be like, hey, what if you just watch, you know? Yeah. No one, I don't feel like they would agree so easily to it. I feel like the other person who's like, hey, I want to watch and you kind of do it. Yeah. I, th- I, I, I really do agree that they probably were like, hey, I think it would be a good idea if. Maybe I just watch or, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Like, well, that's, I, I think that it would be, that would, again, we've talked about it before. That would be not necessarily okay, but more understandable if it was a random dude. You know what I'm saying? Like some random dude, like on some peeping Tom type shit. Yeah. I'd be yeah. like, all right, you're, but, yeah, you're but that's creepy not, shit, but I yeah. mean, yeah, you do what you want. If you were the, if you were the third party to that couple, yeah, 
Yeah, okay. Then, yeah, I could understand that. Yeah, maybe that's like their thing. They Maybe they just like being watched on some like voyeurism shit. Yeah. And you're just that. That guy that who's dude. just there. Maybe, maybe you don't even enjoy it. You're just like. Yeah. All right, I'm in the room. Sit there with your bag of chips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the waiting room. I'm like, like, oh, I'm next. Ah, watching the fight and shit. <laughs> Like, damn, he got fucked up. Oh, you're doing good, Rodney. Go ahead. <laughs> you got it, dog. <laughs> you're killing that shit. <laughs> but yeah. Like, I know a, a buddy of mine, he told me a story. and I don't know if it was true or not. Uh, but uh, apparently, like, he slept with someone's wife. And, like, the husband was, like, right outside the room or whatever. some Something like that. Just kind of, like, eavesdropping in a way. Yeah, kind of. Okay. So in a, I guess you'd call it a cuck situation, but uh, basically what it was is that the husband had like some kind of accident or something like that, so he couldn't have sex. Um, yeah, but I and so like, so I've, I've actually his wife. To, I actually yeah. have heard some shit like that. My dad's friend Steve was that guy who was pleasing the wife. The guy had diabetes real bad. Yeah. Lost, like, his leg, his right leg from, like, the middle of his thigh down. Lost his left foot. Like, his right arm basically completely. I mean, he was a vegetable, essentially. Mm. And, like, he had, like, two fingers on his left hand. And he was fucked. And his wife was like, yeah, like, you know, we were together for all these years. I don't want to leave him. And But, like, obviously with the lack of blood flow and shit like that, he was on a ton of medicines. And, like, just couldn't get it up anymore so he was like i want you to find someone to please you sexually i'm like dude at that point you kind of i'll just get a divorce like you know what you go do your own thing yeah i don't want clearly i'm not capable of doing this anymore right so you do that that's some weird shit right there it is to get, all to get permission like that man that's yeah that's got to be a tough decision on his part too though yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't like, I don't imagine he was just like, yeah, why don't you just go fuck someone else? <laughs> I imagine, you know, he was like, you know what? Probably had to think long and hard on it. No pun intended. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> he he would have been like, why don't you just get a dildo? Because, I mean, at, at some point, the feelings that come with sex yeah. are what really lacks into a woman. Because a guy, we're just guys. I mean, like, I honestly hate to say it, but like, if Sarah wasn't around, I'd just go beat my shit and I'd be fine. Right. Like, it's not that there isn't any emotional attachment to sex. It's just easier for us to fucking clear the... The head and yeah. that's it. Yeah. That's why with women... It's whole... Yeah. Emotional... Yeah. Very. Yeah. Very attachment. And that, yeah, no, I get it. That whole saying, like, men are simple creatures. We, we are. Yeah. When it comes to that, for the most part. A majority of men can't speak for all men, but you know, it's just one of those things. So yeah. <laughs> so what would y'all do if somebody asked for me to watch? Uh, yeah. Do I know these people? No. Yeah, I'm not doing it for free. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck. You gotta, you gotta get that money. <laughs> Shit, I mean. You want me to just sit down and do nothing? I'm a fucking pro at that. <laughs> Shit. I can do that. Hell yeah. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? How much are we talking about? If I'm just sitting there, I mean, what's a, what's a sex session last for at max 30 minutes? Yeah. Without for a life? younger couple? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. For an older couple? Yeah, I got five minutes. I got five minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Shit. I, I fucking kick it. I, I, I don't care about that. Yeah, I'll watch them. <laughs> Just to see if they die or not. Yeah, Good fuck down. it. Take bets and shit. <laughs> Serving a ring. <laughs> like, all right. <laughs> Who do you think she's going to go? All right. <laughs> Start putting up a prop bets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what color are socks? <laughs> shit. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's weird. But, I mean, yeah, if someone was random, yeah. like, hey, how would you like to make even a hundred bucks? I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. I mean, okay, three hundred dollars. You know, hundred bucks. I didn't have before. I'll watch you get your mash on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it for fifty. Let me grab her tit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me honk a tit real quick. 
<laughs> just, uh-uh. <laughs> All right, I'm good. 50 per honk. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I owe you $200. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> How you going? How you going there on top and leaving debt? <laughs> I'll cash out for you to fifteen hundred tomorrow. Sorry about that. <laughs> like, God damn! My bad, dog. <laughs> oh shit! These are really perky. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Just leave an IOU. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just leave before they even finish. <laughs> The note that says, oops. <laughs> oops. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. It's wild. Another thing that kind of, not really freaks me out. I mean, it's a natural thing, but like the category of like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, uh, geriatric. Yeah. Old folk born. Oh, oh. I don't know what it is. I mean that does not entice me one bit. Mm-hmm. No. Maybe when I'm there, but not yeah. like me watching. <laughs> Even then, like as an older guy, you're probably gonna be one to check out younger chicks. Right. What's up? <laughs> just thinking. Uh, she just got you gotta make like what you call quote realistic geriatric where it's like an hour long, but it's like forty or like half of it is like Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> at a minimum, <laughs> where they're just sitting down watching Wheel of Fortune. Jesus. Oh yeah, yeah. And they just keep asking each other. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. mm-hmm. No. And then right, it keeps on going. Yeah. Like, hang on, hang on. Hold on. I mean, come on. We come this far. <laughs> What are we gonna do here? Like every second, they or you just gotta just wait. You just gotta wait for the blue chew to kick in. Yeah. Oh shit. Jesus. Mm. The waiting game. That's when you can really place bets. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Bring a real ring. Hell boy. yeah. Hell yeah. Oh shit. You really can't get some money off that shit. All right. Y'all think he'll, he'll get it up in like 20, 30 minutes? What's up? Shit. How long is he going to last? Depending on how old he is, the blue chew don't kill him. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Bets on how fast he'll do it or what? Hell yeah. Like, how, how quick is this old bastard going to kill over? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Was it a... Man, I saw this clip on TikTok where it's like this old guy... He was uh he had this uh bacteria flesh eating bacteria, mm. but he got it from like this one chick, and so he 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 was in a retirement home, and the EMT comes in. They're like, "Oh shit, you have this, you know, um, flesh eating bacteria." And he's like, "Oh fuck, where do you think I got it from?" And they're all like, "Well, you probably got it. There's, it's a hundred percent you got it from sex because you know you have an STD too. It's an STD uh ba- flesh eating bacteria." Jesus and so, Christ! Yeah, because he didn't. He doesn't wash and shit and all that stuff. And so they go into the room. They're like, "Hang on, do I need to tell this person that you know I had sex with and all that?" I'm like, yeah. So they go into the room where all the old people are. Like, hey, anybody who had sex with this guy, um, y'all might want to come with us because you might have this bacteria too. A couple of ladies stand up and they they come and they're all like, some old guy is like, "Hang on, if you had sex with these ladies, uh." Does that mean we have to go to? And they're like, yes. And so, like, and a whole group of guys start coming up to. I was like, God damn. It would have been great. And like, if you've had sex with this man, uh, step forward, and the whole room just stands up. Like, even like, even like one of the orderlies and shit. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Pam, what the hell is going on Y'all here? Y'all some nasty shit for real. It's like, damn, I have orgies in here. There's no dude. That's like a legit thing in in retirement homes. Yeah, yeah. old folk yeah. homes. Yeah, oh, yeah. like fucking Woodstock in there. Oh yeah. hell yeah, absolutely. Live the, live the glory days, dude. There's a uh, like chicks, uh, and I know a chick who used to work at one. It's she was in Atlanta. Uh, she's a nurse now, but she worked. She was what is it? CNAs, whatever. Yeah, she worked at an old folk home. She worked at night shift. Some of them young girls would take some of their money for like sexual favors and shit, like. Yeah, like five hundred to a thousand. Hell yeah, just for whatever it is they did in there, well, it was on them. But yeah, they would take those dudes like Social Security money. 
Yeah. Didn't matter. They just knew they, they, just, about, they, to knew they were about to get paid. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, that is some wild shit. Would y'all do that? Where do if I like, sign off? <laughs> 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 if like an old lady would just say, hey, buddy, I'll give you like $5,000 if you, you know. I don't know what it is, bro. Like, it's so much easier for women to get with the older guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, like, I don't think I could do it. No? Speaking of, great transition. (laughs) (laughs) 83-year-old Al Pacino, 83-year-old actor Al Pacino and his 29-year-old girlfriend break up after his first, after their first child. Yeah. 83 years old. Aren't you way past the point of breaking up? For real. Aren't you way past the point of having kids? Aren't you supposed to be in a retirement (laughs) retirement home? Fuck. 83 years old. God damn. Have you seen him lately? Dude, he looks terrifying. Yeah, he looks bad. Looks terrifying. First of all, this bitch needs to get her priorities straight and fucking like... Oh, no, they're straight now. Oh, yeah, they are now. But before then, it's like, what what are you doing? 83 years old. Look, I do... uh, I don't... You can't put a number on love. Obviously, legally, you can. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, but I'm saying for like an 18 year old woman to fall in love with a 65 year old guy. Okay, maybe. It's sure, you know. Yeah, sure. Sure. Maybe it's a possibility. Maybe. Right. But is it like, my, my, I always go back to like, how fucking real is that love? Yeah, hundred percent. Like, w- why? I'm not like trying to be super judgy, but I, I, but I am at the same time. Like, it's it's hard to be like you love this fucking old guy. Because I mean, I know like majority of us seeing like an older person, we're just kind of just like we just see you as an older person. That's yeah, it. we don't see you like having a like. How connection. do you not? How does a woman not see a guy like that and think, oh, grandpa? Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying. Like, that's how do you how do you automatically assume? Ooh. I want to rock his world or whatever it is oh, they say these him. days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how do you, how do you, that, yeah, what, that, that is some fatherless behavior. Like, on some real shit, dude. Like, <laughs> like God. without intentions of getting money, like yeah, actual like, love. If the guy is asked out broke, I'd be like, okay, that's real love. Like if she's like caring and I hate to be that guy, like obviously it's a money thing, but it is a money thing. Yeah. Like, it's what it seems like anyway, where, like, if a 29-year-old girl, she was making way more than he was, I'd be like, all right, cool. Like, That's real love. Like, to be making more than Al Pacino, mm-hmm. shit, you, you got it fucking good, sister. Shout out to you. That's real love. For real. But I don't even know this bitch. <laughs> like, Me I think neither. she's just some random chick he found, maybe. I don't know. But still, like, just a weird thing to, like, I don't. I could never look at a 75-year-old woman and be like, damn. She fine bitch. Oh, maybe. But, I mean, not like... <laughs> Also, I'm like, oh, I need to get in that. Or, like, my first thought is always like, oh, grandma or something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. just someone who's just older. And that's yeah, it. older. Like, be, be respectful and nice. Yeah. Just, Does she have any cookies? <laughs> For real, yeah. You got some hard <laughs> candy in that hole or what? <laughs> For real. Like, yo, you got some food in here? Shit. <laughs> my pantry's looking empty as a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you got some pie? Bitch, I mean, knock off spam. <laughs> I mean the knockoff of the knockoff of spam. This shit. <laughs> what recipes you got? I know you got for real. I know recipes. you got some family recipes in that bitch. Hey, come on, give it to me. I'm down. If you don't make a brown Betty, they're for real. Real shit. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I brought in my own oil. Here you go, <laughs> bro. Y'all remember eating that shit called puppy chow? That sounds not similar. not the the dog food, obviously. Okay. It was like chocolate. Puppy chow. Something. Hold on, let me see. Just random. I, you, somebody said Brown Betty, and I was like, my brain automatically went to that. Uh, was Brian. You say Puppy Chow, but my first thought went to reindeer food. No, it's like chocolate. Uh, mm. Was it fudge or what? Yeah. It was a, it was a <laughs> snack, right? Like it was. Yeah, like, Puppy mm-hmm. Chow, also known as Monkey Munch, <laughs> uh, Muddy Buddies, and Muddy Munch Reindeer Chow. Yep. Or a doggy bag is the name for a homemade candy made in the United States. So it's the... It's dish. the Chex. Yeah, yeah. With the powdered sugar yep. and some chocolate. Oh, and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the reindeer Fucking food. good. But I haven't had that shit in so long. I know, right? 
No, the, they they have. Yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah, they have it at the store. Oh, I'm sure. I just, I'm, it just it, like I said, it just literally just popped in my head right now. I was like, I don't know what the fuck that came from, but it it ain't bad. I oh yeah, it. I used to smash on that shit, fuck bro. Yeah, it, the store bought stuff ain't bad. I've I've had it. Um, well, it's been a couple years, but yeah, it wasn't bad. Very had quite a bit of powdered sugar. Oh yeah, so that it was is, very. It, it kind of did. Leave like a chalky mm-hmm. texture, mm-hmm. but not bad. Chocolate with the, I think it had some peanut butter in it. Nice. Depends on who made it, but yeah, yeah that shit was bomb. Mm. It was bombay. Well, uh, I think they sometimes bring it out during uh, Christmas. Christmas, yeah. So. Yeah, that's, that's usually ones. whenever I do see it. But as I said, it's just random. I was like, what the fuck? Where does that even come from? Like Puppy Child used to Brown Betty. <laughs> Shit, September's almost over. For real. Mm-hmm. It's October and then November. Well, it's the 15th today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. Year's almost done. Damn, almost 2024. Mm-hmm, 2024. Motherfucker. Hey. <sighs> it just has to keep, keep going down. The temperature? Yes. Hell yeah, dude. <sighs> Right that, now it feels great outside. That Monday when I was like sixty seven, I was like, "Fuck, yes. this oh, felt so good." Fuck. I was like, "Damn, that felt great." Because I know it, it was weird. I walked outside and I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, yeah. So I was like, <laughs> I went to I went to, went to take Kane out on a walk. I was like, "Damn, dude, I need a light jacket or something." What the fuck? <laughs> I wore one of the the sweaters that we yeah, got. Yeah, I was like, "Oh shit, this was good." Yeah, I was like, "Damn, bro, I didn't realize it was because it was cold in here." So when yeah. it's cold in here, I'm like, "I must." Fucking temperature must have dropped. Uh-huh. We got it on seventy three, and I was like, like I said that one day, I was like, damn dude, what the fuck? Like I had to put on a jacket, and I checked the thing was seventy three, and I checked my phone, and it was seventy one. I was like, I was like, oh hell no, <laughs> turn that bitch up a little bit. I was like, it got kind of cold in here because the you know, the floors and shit. I was like, yeah. fuck, like it's a little cold in this bitch. <laughs> Fucking knees started hurting and everything. I was like, oh no, <laughs> so that weather right, dropping, <laughs> <laughs> that temp dropping. But shit, I would rather have that than this fucking heat all the time, bro. Hell yeah. I can get warmer real I don't, quick. Yeah, I don't need it to be t- 35 degrees. Oh, I just no. need it to be like, well, let's just say like 68, 70, where yeah. it's a nice, cool, cool day. Hell yeah. Where it's not 140 degrees. Mm. Dude, that one day we, I took Ken to the, to the park, it said it was 97, felt like 111. And I was like, what yeah. the well, So it's 111. Stop, yeah. We got to stop this feels like shit. It's 111. Like yeah. it is, fu- dude. I'm talking like I was sitting underneath that little shade thing they had, drenched, drenched. Mm-hmm. Kane wa- took one walk around the one lap around the park and was like, the "Fuck, man, come on, let's go." <laughs> no, let's go like, dog. Like, it's he, hot. He was laying on the grass. Just, <laughs> I was like, "Ask yeah, inside." Dog. <laughs> like this is fucking insane. Jesus Christ! Me, like I had just taken a shower that morning. Took a shower as soon as I got back in the. Fuck yeah, I would too. I poured Kane a whole thing of water. He. Just destroyed it. I was like, "Yeah, I don't blame you, son. Like, this shit is crazy." Hot. How much range did y'all get? Here? Y'all yeah, get? Uh, quite a bit. Like, I think it was like three hours or something like that. Three, two and a half, three hours worth. But it was, it was like off and on for the most yeah. part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but it was enough to drop the temp. So I was like, "Yeah, thank God." Uh, fucking hey, brother. <laughs> I don't know how much we got, but it looked like it rained a lot over there. Yeah. I mean, for us, it was. It seemed just rain for like maybe like an hour at a time. So, but it, I think it only rained like three or four times for us. Okay. But it was enough. Yeah, I think to, the longest it went here was like maybe 30 minutes or something like that. Maybe 30, yeah. 40 minutes. And it, was, it wasn't like, it was just raining. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Washington rain. I was like, okay, this isn't bad. I can deal with this. And then it started thundering and lightning. I was like, oh, here it comes. And it just <laughs> went away. I was like, yeah. You gotta be fucking kidding me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> just give me the whole goddamn yeah. thing. It's like, just fucking drown us. <laughs> goddamn. Yeah, just put us out of our misery. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I caught my, saw my chickens outside, just standing in the rain, just enjoying it. Like, living the good life. <laughs> For real. They're like, hallelujah. Living the fucking good life. Hell yeah. <laughs> Now I think they're saying that's pretty much it. For, for real? Day. I thought what happened to three days? I, I think this know. was our th- third day. Oh, was it? Was God, it? Damn. Well, we I got think it started on Wednesday. We got some. We got some rain tomorrow. Forty percent. Hell yes. Well, here in College Station. 
Your Google going off. Mm. Oh, Ooh. yeah, no. no we but go. the next couple of days are going to get kind of chilly. Good. Hell yeah, I'm down. But then it starts getting up again. I was like, fuck, son of a fuck. Yeah. Son of a fuck. Well, at least no, no more addicts. <laughs> oh, yeah. So fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah, real shit. <laughs> <laughs> I finally just told my dad, I think, whenever he drove... He, for whatever reason, he was taking that bullshit ass Honda to work without windows. I mean, with, without windows, without AC. And uh, he, I had the truck here, you know, and, and I was like, uh, he was like, uh, what's the, you know, like, uh, are you going to need the truck? And I was like, nah, you can come scoop it up. I was like, I don't, I don't fucking work there anymore. He was like, oh shit, I finally just told him. But he had kept texting me. He was like, ooh, any attic work today? I'd be like, yep, you know it, just lying and shit. Yeah. I was like, hell no, I ain't going to the fucking addicts no more, dog. I'm out of that shit. Against my will, but I'm out of that shit. Here you go, dog. Here's your truck. I can't work for that man after what he said to me. What'd he say? You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she can't work for him. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> I think I said shit to my mom. She was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, that's funny. Good times. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's it's that smart, you know, like thing. Like, huh? Like, why? What did he say? Oh, because he said I'm fired. No, I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well no, well, no wonder. Would y'all rather go free climbing or spelunking. What's spelunking again? Cave diving. In those little bitty ass, pretty much instant mm. death if you don't know the cave, which you're not going to know the cave. Yeah. Mm. Well, I can't do either, so I guess I'm just going to die. You got to choose one. I mean, nobody can do either. Yeah. Well, all right. So which one would well, I guess yeah. that, say? Nobody would want to do either, but I mean, if you had well, to choose, you say one. so free climbing or cave Spunky. diving. Yeah. Well, free climbing, you don't have a harness, right? You're just no, pulling just yourself hands. up, mm -hmm. hands and chalk. Free climbing. Yeah, because I think Cause, uh, uh, I'm not getting more than a foot off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got a little bit of a slope, so you can get started. I mean, yeah, now we're moving the goalposts, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three feet, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll try the free climbing. Free climbing first. Yeah. Because at least I get to see something nice before I die. If, if it, I die. I can't remember which podcast where they threw this, oh, would you rather out, but they were like, with free climbing, if you don't know what you're doing, the chances of you dying are extremely high. Whether you know what you're doing or not with spelunking, the chances of you dying are are extremely yeah. high. Yeah. So it's like, would you rather die in some fucking cave where nobody can find you or just like fall to your death and everyone's like, oh, that guy's not going to be alive. And then they, <laughs> just, then they just take you to, I guess your family or whatever, whatever the fuck's yeah. left of you. Like I'd rather, I'd rather just fall. Yeah. As, as, as much as I hate heights, I'm not dying in a fucking cave, dog. Fuck no. no. All no. by myself, it, just darkness. Even if, if you're if, not if by yourself, that's, I feel like that even <sighs> with a gang would be even worse. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, between like a fear of heights or like a, or like claustrophobia, like, I'd, honestly, the fear of heights is better. Hmm. Yeah, I think I would, I would find some way to fuck, I would just never look down. I mean, yeah. I know you kind of have to with free climbing, if you, maybe if you're harnessed, I don't know how that works, but, I would just do my best to not look down and be like, fuck it. Right. I think we're free climbing. They don't do a harness. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, with the harness, I don't know how the difference between the two other than they're both fucking retarded. Yeah. Right. But, I mean, with a harness, I know you got a little more leverage. You can, you know, look down and be like, oh, maybe this is better footing or whatever. Right. As with the free climbing, you're literally just... You have to one foot in front of the other yeah. kind of shit. Like, oh, okay. I got I to gotta know where I'm going to put my feet. And hope you don't die. Yeah. I'd rather just go to a rock wall. Yeah, me too. <laughs> like, you know what? This looks, this looks nice for me. Nice little padding. Yeah. You know? If I eat shit, yeah, it's whatever. Because I mean, like, if, imagine you dying at uh, the spelunking, and you have a group with you, and you're behind somebody, and that fool farts. 
not even that. Let's just say us three, us us four, Navarre, all of us, you know, in Navarre, and you're in the middle, and you die. Brian gets to keep going forward. How the fuck do we get around you? Not only that, we're gonna be talking shit the whole time while I'm dying. Bro, I will not be. There will not be a a lick of shit talking coming out of my mouth. It will all be tears. <laughs> yeah. I'm crying like a motherfucker. <laughs> if I mean, absolutely, positively had no other way to escape something, and Spelunking was the only, you know, they were like, "I'll oh, be quiet, so they don't find you." Y'all know they gonna know where the fuck I am. <laughs> <laughs> they will be screaming like a little bitch the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Same with, because at least with. With free climbing, I'd be like, "Oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck?" Yeah, you're know, like, "Dude, I'm I'm gonna I'm doing my best to make as much noise as possible. That way, motherfuckers know where we are. If we get stuck, bitch, you better pull me out this hole. Mm-hmm. Pull me out like a fucking rag doll. I don't give a damn how you pull me out. Just give me out. Give me out this hole. Give me out. God damn, you ain't lying. You ain't fucking lying. That's just. I'll probably do the same thing. Cause goddamn, I don't dude, know. I can't even watch those fucking videos. I don't even know how they do when their lights go out. I'm just like, what the. So that's just mm-mm. Mm-mm. nope. I'm I am 100 percent good on that bullshit. Because I mean, imagine like you forgetting like to replace the new batteries or charge your fucking headlamp. Fuck. Nope. I wonder what like the average time of a cave dive is. I know that's kind of hard to gauge, but I mean, it's got to be in somewhere in at least a two hour range. Yeah, I would say a couple hours. Yeah. Fuck that. And then try to travel back where you came from. Well, I think the point, do they do that or do they just go through? I don't know how that shit works. I don't know how that shit works either. I think it's best to keep it that way. I think you have to, I think you have to do like a time limit. Like if you can't get through in this amount of time, go back. Do they do the whole like leaving a rope as like a a, a bread trail or crumb trail, whatever it is? I would. I would too. Fuck yeah. 100%. Dude, I'm buying like 800 miles of rope. <laughs> like, I'm not getting lost in that mm. bitch. Fuck that noise. At least keep somebody outside. So if you're like, you're like, hey, get me out or something's wrong, fucking pull on it. Hey, I got you. Because that's go. where they like go in from top, right? I don't know. I think it just depends on where the good route is for right. them. I, anytime I ever see them, it's usually they're already in the motherfucker. So, I mean, I'm, again, it's hard for me to even watch them hoes. Mm. Give, we'll go find a cave that has like a nice, bitch, wide open. We, what's <laughs> all this weed shit? <laughs> no, no, it's got like a nice wide opening wall, nice footpath. Like, if we're just walking into a cave, I'm down. But if we're going like a hole, yeah. no, 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 fuck, no. Are you talking about just like a, like, a, like a cave exploration type thing? Yeah. Or spelunking? Wherever it is, you just walk through. Okay, so like exploring. Yeah, now that's yeah. That's I think fine. I think there's a difference between the two. I just don't fuck with caves like that, dog. I just like that. I I, I can I fuck think, with that. I think uh, you have to look it up because I thought spelunking was just cave exploration. Well, I think the spelunking part of it is where you have to like go in like the really tight spots. Spots, and then yeah. the expl- I think they go hand in hand. Because you can just like walk into it and be like, oh, hey, there's like a, a four inch gap or whatever the fuck it is. They yeah. go, they crawl through. Everyone come this way. And then you just go from there, I think. And then the whole cave explorations, I mean, there's some that already like are pre made for you to kind of just yeah. walk through it. Like just like man made shit or like, I know a lot of the explorations that I've seen, like in like South America, it's usually like on a boat. Like you're like, right. On, a, on some type of little. Ship or something, or somebody already did it before, and you can just kind of just like follow a guide. What, yeah, what, what I wouldn't do done. that shit either. Really, why in the Amazon River? Oh, yeah, no, mm. goddamn piranhas and barracudas. Hell no, suck my fuck. <laughs> but I would do it like somewhere here in America, you know, like I'm pretty sure they'll, yeah, national, if it wasn't in a cave, <laughs> like if it had an opening, and then you know, obviously it just loops around. Dude, if there was like a, that, if, okay, yeah. let's say the cave started. Right here, and it ended at the window. I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I better, down. I better be able to get through that motherfucker in two of these, whatever these are called. <laughs> Shit, that's it. That's it. Oh, so I have some, some numbers. It says it takes three to six hours of your day to go uh, caving. This includes this includes traveling times, administration, safety briefing, gearing up, and time inside the cave. 
on average, a guided cave tour can last around one to three hours uh, underground. Experienced cavers easily spend four to eight hours. Nope. I'm not spending a full fucking work day in a cave, dog. No. Fuck no. I'll go for an hour. Yeah, I, hour I'll go two. for an hour at the motherfucking opening of that cave. <laughs> Shit, I'm not going in there. Unless one of y'all are like, Zeke, hey, help. And I'd be like, all right, I'm going to get someone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. Don't die, dog. <laughs> but you're right here. Not anymore. <laughs> Shit. I told you it was stupid ass not to go in there. <laughs> Shit. Crazy ass motherfucker. But yeah, you've been to the uh there was one caves over there in um what what do they call it? Uh over there in, in Austin where the bats? Not the bats, but you go under and you see all the ca- the caves that they have down there and Absolutely if you touch not. if you touch the, the stuff it'll kinda like deteriorate because of the bacteria that we have in our hands. Mm-mm. That's pretty cool. Like Close, shit like that, I don't know. Honestly, like the closest I've ever been to the cave was that where the ones where the bats come out of and shit. That's it. Okay. But no, I don't I don't fuck with stuff like that. I went to a catacomb once. But that's different. That's all built out shit. Yeah. Right. Cause, uh, I mean, yeah, it was made of stone, but That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's built out. It's like pretty much damn near indestructible as opposed to like a cave. You go to accident, you know, you go to move a rock to see something, and <laughs> that bitch just falls. Like, I think I, it depends on the cave. Yeah, because if it's like one where it's like, like, where it's all like rocks like piled on top of each other, yeah. But if it's like one of those where it was like giant rocks, where it feels like it feels pretty much like a hole that was made through like erosion or something like that, then yeah, right. Because I I just go to the caves that are more of like touristy. Kind of yeah. shit, you know, like, hey. Yeah, the super of, safe ones, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have been here. A lot of people haven't. You can pay to get in, and you can see shit, and it's cool. And, you, yeah, you go underground and shit, but you're not, like, you're, there's a guarantee you're going to die kind of shit. Hell no. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm saying, well, the, the, the percentage of me dying better be, like, point zero 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 one or some shit like that. Right. Or they're like, the only way you're going to die is if like a madman comes in here with a machete. I'd be like, okay, what are the chances of that? Yeah. Or you slip on a banana peel. Yeah, or some shit. Yeah. Like, so, just like, act of God type thing, where it's like, oh, shit, like, you were just meant to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah. Like, the most accidental way yeah. that it looked like. Some Murphy's Law type shit. Yeah. You know how embarrassing that would be, like, if you died in a cave, but it's because you, like, you swallowed your chewing gum? And you just sco- <laughs> <laughs> you were so scared of the cave, but you weren't scared of the fucking yeah, you chewing look, gum. You look up, look up. And everyone just keeps going, and you just die. It's like, oh shit, what do we do? Say so you got attacked by bats. It's way more manly. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, fucking Hubba Bubba took him out. <laughs> the real story. For real. Yeah, you're brutal. It's like we, he died because of bats. Oh, oh, poor guy. Poor guy. The autopsy report. <laughs> Male, 34 years old, died. Hubble Bubble. Flavor, grape. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that shit right there. Oh, shit. That'd be fucking bad, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Lose my... <laughs> dying in the cave, but not even in a cool way. Some fucking bullshit. Down, <laughs> fucking <laughs> chewing Hubble <laughs> Bubble. <laughs> Or even worse, the zebra gum. That, 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 that what does that flavor last? A hot three seconds or yeah. some shit? Yeah, dying on zebra gum. Fuck oh, out of here. That's <laughs> boy, you meant to die for God real. Damn. Like so you just were not. Today was your fucking day. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> baby Jesus, hit your fucking punch out card. <laughs> so it was time to go. He's like, that's mm-hmm. it, dog. Holy shit. I didn't know fucking Navarro would never drop it. He's like, that fool died from fucking Hubba Bubba. Holy what shit. What a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. That's wild. Oh, dude, we got to talk about this shit. Uh, that, uh, the things that Navarro sent. Did you see that? The <laughs> butt fucker 3000? Mm-mm. You didn't see it? I don't think so. There's like this... Uh, I think it was during 2020, this trial that was happening over Zoom, they had everybody come in. It was like Lance, Wales, and all these like normal names. And then this guy pops up 
And his name is like Buttfucker3000 on Zoom. Hell yeah. <laughs> and the judge is like, what's your name? He's like, me? Like, yes, you. Uh, Nathaniel Stark, sir. He's like, your name is not Buttfucker3000. He's like, what? What are you talking about? He's like, look at your screen name. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I do everyone's just fucking dying laughing. He's like, he's like, don't ever come into my court with that type of name again, you yo-ho. He's like, uh, uh, oh, fuck, something. About, he basically put him in timeout. Yeah. He's like, you're going to sit in the waiting room for five minutes. Until you come back with a better name. And he was like, I'm sorry. I think it was my sister or something. So I was like, bro, in a, like a, a trial, like this was like a, on some like capital murder type shit. <laughs> and this motherfucker walked into a courtroom or sat in a courtroom with right. fucker 3000 as his name. <laughs> I was like, Any, anything else, you would have been cool, bro. I love how you can get away with that on fucking Zoom. But if you were to do that in real life, it would have been like. All right, dog. You're 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 getting some time for this. Like, what yeah, the you're, fuck? You're clearly in contempt. Yeah, yeah. But wow. like, on on the Zoom, they're kind of like, all right, funny, but no. Hold on. Your name? Me? Yeah, you. Yes. Nathaniel Saxon, sir. Your name's not Buttfucker Three Thousand. You yo ho. Logging into my court with that is your screen name. What's your name again? Nathaniel Saxton, sir, but I don't believe that I typed anything like that in. Well, that's what it says. Why? Well, I, I, I apologize. That that that's just not Yeah, me. you should. I'll put you in the waiting room. You can sit in limbo for a while and think about what you call yourself online. And everyone's like dying laughing and shit. But fuck the 3000. I'm getting that tatter right here. <laughs> Don't talk to do it. Oh, man. Speaking of that fool, uh, I was like, Tuck, what's up? Uh, when you go hook your boy up with a sleeve, he looked at my arms. He was like, man, they don't even make needles that small, dog. I was like, what a bitch. <laughs> what up, cuz? What up? How's she doing? She dying? I told Isaac to pull the plug. <laughs> yeah, my little cousin Isaac was her friend's nurse. Oh shit! Okay. You said my cousin. I was like, Joshua, what the fuck? Dang. Hell yeah! Like, why, cool. they, why are they letting her watch over people already? For <laughs> real. Crazy ass bitch. Huh? Oh, those are your, those are yours. Yeah. No. Do you want? Therefore, Israel. No, I have some. Okay. All right. Well, you made it look like you wanted some. Yeah, for real. It's candy. A lot of candy. Very sweet. Very sweet. It's like a bunch of shit melted together. Yeah. You should try it. It's really good, but he didn't intentionally make it. Yeah. So it was the result of. It's thick. Yeah. So like. Th quadruple C. Yeah. I ordered some candy online because it's cheap. It's gummy. But uh, it like all melted together. So then I took like this big block of candy, remelted it, and then like made it into strips. Yeah. Try it. It's really good. It's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. Because it has some sweet stuff in it, some sour stuff in it. And... Diabetes. Yeah, pretty much. That's why I'm giving it to them. Well, I don't want it. <laughs> I'll just take the one that I got and that's it. Sarah can keep the rest. Yeah. Have some dive. Take take it to your uh nurse people. <laughs> nurse people. <laughs> Hell yeah. Diabetes for everyone. Yeah, Hell yeah. Everyone in the office. Well, at least they're nurses, so they can take care of themselves. So there you go. Imagine walking into a clinic and there's nurses just jabbing each other in the stomach with insulin. Hell yeah. Say, <laughs> like, man, y'all really take care of people. Ooh, get him. Oh, like me? Talking about? No. Oh. Kane. Okay. <laughs> she's just, no. just a bomb B, huh? That pizza? You look tired. Go Mimi's. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go Mimi's, mija. Mm. Go Mimi. Go Mimi. I was just telling Phil about this the other day. Uh, about what? Let me get this. El Pixorito. Mm. <clears throat> so this guy thought he had a... Uh, a tumor in his lung 
Turns out there was a tree growing inside him. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Wow. So this is from 2016. Uh, the tree measuring five centimeters was discovered by Russian doctors when they opened up Artyom Sidorkin, 28 at the time, mm-hmm. to remove what they thought was a tumor. Medical staff believed that Mr. Sidorkin somehow inhaled a seed, which later sprouted into a small fir tree inside his lung. Mm-hmm. The patient had complained of extreme pain in his chest and had been coughing up blood. Doctors were convinced he had cancer. That's why a damn tree growing in his lung. I didn't even know that was fucking possible. Real shit. Yeah. <laughs> So I need to stop eating the seeds. You ever inhaled one? No. You should. Give it a shot. <laughs> Give it a shot. <laughs> At least we'll know what the problem is. Hey. Yeah, so like trees are fucking weird and our bodies are really fucking weird. So uh, basically, I guess there's like enough water in your system. To, to water like, that bitch? To water it. And plus like how our flesh is and like how trees are, like basically like You'll get the sunlight from us? No, it's not really sunlight, but basically... Um, the nutrients? What like do you it, call... It's like absorbing the vitamin C yeah, or something? Yeah, well, Yeah, I mean, obviously, it'll get nutrients from, like, our flesh and everything. But, like, the way, like, it'll grow into our flesh and everything. Because, um, like, sometimes, like... Uh, and I think Sarah might be able to tell you this. Like, sometimes if you get something, like, stuck into you... And it just stays there, like our, like our meat and stuff. Oh, we'll start rejecting it. Yeah, it'll like kind of like grow over it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, Sarah? Huh? 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 Like, say I stab you in the leg with a toothpick. Oh, and it stays in. Yeah. And yeah. it stays in. Like your body will actually like start attaching itself to the toothpick, right? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. I know I had a, a big ass splinter in my foot once. It was like one of those that like laid flat, and after like four days, my body started like pushing it out. Yeah, like it like it, it wasn't like super deep. It was like yeah. and you know like that that thin yeah, layer yeah. of skin where you could see it. Yeah, and when it started like healing up, it was like slowly pushing it out. I was like, yeah, what the fuck. And yeah. I just I was able to just pull it out, but I couldn't get it out with tweezers or anything. Right. Yeah, that's oh, the difference between our skin and our meat, because obviously we keep growing new skin, so it just keeps going more and more. Right. But our Phil. meat, we don't keep growing new meat. You hear him calling it meat? Phil? Huh? You hear it? Oh, Shades when you call flesh meat. Why? But it's so tasty. It's so meaty. <laughs> it must be a southern thing. I guess we all call call flesh meat. What do you call it? Flesh. Flesh? I guess that, it, it's meat. I think that's a school thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it also it just grosses her out. Oh. So that's why I call it meat to this day. You don't want some of these ham hocks? Yeah. Mm. Get some of Zeke's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't much on there, dog. <laughs> you know, that's straight up bone right there. Yeah. That would be, be the, that would be the most I mean I you probably season a stew really well. Yeah, but I mean, still, like, I'd probably be the most disappointing meal to a lion. <laughs> yeah. They'd be so mad that they went through all the effort to kill me, but like, God damn. <laughs> this motherfucker needed us more than we need him. <laughs> we thought we needed a snack. God damn. Get this boy a cheeseburger. <laughs> Go get this appetizer out of here. You ain't lying. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like my ribs to have meat on them, please. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get this squirrel shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it that does like the appetizer deals? I want to say like Applebee's or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where it's like three appetizers. For like for 10 like, bucks or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. I want my other two appetizers. Yeah. You <laughs> <laughs> can take this one back to the kitchen. <laughs> you really cheat me out on this one, man. Fuck. Oh, really? Y'all are stingy. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> Can you at least give me some cash up with this motherfucker? God damn. <laughs> you chinchy ass motherfucker. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. You got oh, some cheap bastards. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, shit. I wanted a gourmet. Fuck. 
This is Whataburger. <laughs> Whataburger? Oh, man, you're giving yourself way too much credit. Lie. Maybe more like... Super salad. <laughs> or Zane's. Lanes. Lanes. Lanes, yeah. Lanes. Fuck Lanes. Who else wants the shaker salad to come back? <laughs> the shaker salad? Yeah. The shaker salad. You remember that, right? Yeah. From McDonald's? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. You don't want the chicken selects to come back. Mm. Ooh. Yes. Why do they take away the, the, the wraps? They just take away shit, like... They're taking away their fountain drinks. Yeah, she was just saying that. Their what? The fountain drinks. Well, what are they going to replace it with? Nothing. What are... Oh, so the, they'll just... Oh, kind of like Chick-fil-A. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. <coughs> Jesus Sorry, Christ. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you said that, I was like, damn, so you just got to yeah, eat that, that dry-ass bread with For real? Yeah, like, right. what the fuck? What, what am I yeah. going to drink it with? You know what really needs to happen, though? What's up? Is if they lose their fucking fountain drinks to self-serving, then I think Popeye needs to gain those ones that they... Because them dry-ass biscuits... <laughs> Shit. Ooh. After you eat it, you're just like... If you can even breathe, mm. I used to, I used to fuck. I used to make a joke. I'd be like, like uh, Kane be bothering for food. I'm like, Kane, quit fucking around. I'm gonna give you this biscuit. And you ain't gonna bark for a week. <laughs> shit, this shit. I did. I gave him one. And he came. <laughs> he's he's licking, licking the roof of his mouth for a good thirty minutes, trying to kill as much water as he can. You're right. I'm like, yeah. Did you put water on it? No. <laughs> this ain't Vietnam. Goddamn. <laughs> The hell? <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, shit. That's fucking evil right there. Yeah, for Jesus real. Christ. I got, why, why do you hate Kane so much? For real. I wouldn't do that. She's my worst enemy. Mm-mm. Peanut butter on a Popeye bit. Ooh. Ooh. What's, what's next? You gonna add salt in that hole? I mean, shit. Ooh. Or tuna? It reminds me of a competition I did. I, I'm pretty sure I told y'all before where I did uh, peanut butter and crackers you had to eat like a bunch of peanut butter and all sleep of crackers jesus yeah damn top yeah nothing to drink yeah it's mm-hmm. fucking terrible the uh, uh what was i gonna say damn it the the premium brand the premium the bro i could smash on a whole fucking all four sleeves of the most Oh, or the, like the Ritz? No, no, not the Ritz. The the square premium ones. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Oh hell, the ones that yeah. are supposed to be made for like soup and shit. Mm, fuck that uh, soup, bro. I'll smash on the hose. Bro, mm-hmm. I remember when I did smoke weed for like a few times, like mm. chips, though. Just throwing them down, not even paying attention. Hell yeah, they that, have this really good flavor to it. If you get like the lightly salted ones, I feel like those are even better because mm-hmm. they're it's got a, just the right amount of salt. Damn shits, Oof. they hard. I can. I can fucks with the saltines. Oh, well, yeah, because... Yeah. Yeah. But, like, I have to have them, like, pretty much, like, a certain way. Like, I can't just eat saltine crackers. Shit, I can't. So I got to have, like, something to put on them, whether it's, like, liverwurst or, like, cheese or something. No, nah, I can eat them by themselves. They used to be my snack, or sometimes my lunch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I used to snack on oh, bro. when I was a kid, but... Yeah, I, I remember shit being broke than a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Uh, crackers, turkey, and cheese, no bread, straight up Lunchables all day, yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that shit goes hard than a bitch. I mean, yeah. yeah, your blood pressure probably high as hell after that shit, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, a lot of salt. Yeah. But it was worth it. But even then, but, I don't even eat with the fucking cheese and ham. I'll just eat the cracker Oh, yeah, itself. but I yeah. mean, like, whenever I actually, like, Had. wanted something, I'd be like, man, I got some... Turkey and some cheese. I ain't got oh. no bread, but I got crackers. There Throwing the go. bitches on the hatch. Hell but yeah, yeah by themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that was our thing here for a long time. We would just get the like the box with like the the saltine, the premium saltines, and shit. And just before you know it, it started off with like you no know, like her taking one, me taking one, and then before you know it, like that sleeve would just be left out on the counter. We'd just be going back and forth, and then another one, and then another one. And then before you know it, the shit was gone in like four days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Murdering the bitches. Hell yeah. It's amazing. You want to talk about a good cracker? Ritz. You? Ritz, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I of love course, your yeah. Nice yeah. buttery Ritz. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that's that's what it was. It was the Ritz. It was the Ritz, not the premium. The Ritz. Yeah, I fuck with Ritz. Oh yeah, it's but that's so that's that's in cracker world. That's like high dollar shit. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about some Spencer. broke boy shit. Give me the premiums, dog. Give me the saltines. Give me dog. the saltines. Hell yeah. I don't give a damn if that's. I don't give a damn if that's what came off the bottom of the feet of them aliens that they showed in Mexico. <laughs> that shit is good. Give me that saltine for real. Let that shit. Mm. Especially with a uh, shrimp cocktail. Mm. There you go, bro. Shrimp cocktail. Like the sauce or like actual like shrimp, shrimp and everything. Yeah. Well, the way that Mexicans you make it. Like with the shrimp, oh, the, oh, the, the ceviche. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I don't know if you knew it that way, so that's why I mm. called it the shrimp cocktail. That's where it is, bro. Mm. Premiums. Oh, oh no. Nabisco makes that? No wonder them fuckers are so good. Mm. I never even know. I didn't know either. Yeah, ceviche. I didn't know you knew ceviche. Think I don't fuck with ceviche? No? Oh, I get like the pre-made shit, so... Because cause they have it at H-E-B. But so. you still know of it. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, that Hell shit yeah. kind of spicy. Shit's good, dude. Oh, yeah. It's fucking good. Shit's Get fucking the... good. Oof. Yeah. Like, that's an actual meal for us sometimes, bro. Some wok, some tomatoes, onions, fucking the shrimp and shit, and then you get the fucking saltine, dip it in. Woo! Shit's good. I like to do it with the tortilla chips. You can do that, too. But for some reason, for us, with the saltines, because the, the saltine and the ketchup kind of, like, go together. Again, it depends on who, how they make it. Yeah, because the one I get, it's not with ketchup. It's with actual diced tomatoes. Right. So. That's how broke we are, though. Mm. It's a wild-ass conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, it's good as shit, dog. You I don't think I've ever had it. Yeah. Uh, do you like ketchup or no? Yeah. Okay. Because the way that. You know, you know, your boy was a fucking uh, chicken nuggy uh, kind of Yeah. Shit. I'm a fi- uh, you, aficionado. <laughs> you like scrimps, right? Yeah. 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 I, I can bring some when my mom makes it. It's pretty good. How often does she make it? It's rare, but it's it's good. Hit her up, bro. I can just go grab some from fucking AGB. Well, no, you gotta try hers. Yeah, that's well, the whole point. Bring yeah. hers. We'll bring both. <laughs> and we'll see the test. But it's, it's pretty good. It has a, a shit ton of ketchup, has some a lot of limes, and then from there, the only thing you won't like is onions. onions. I knew yeah. it. I fucking yeah, knew it. It's raw <laughs> onion. Yeah. I'm out. And then they they have a guac and then shrimp. And then from there, you just take the saltine and... See, the one at uh, H-E-B, it's pretty much just uh, tomatoes, onions... Peppers, I think they use um, serranos, hmm. shrimp, uh, lime, and cilantro. Oh yeah, cilantro. Yeah, us too. Cilantro, cilantro, cilantro. Way. It's just different depending on how you want to do it. Like, they, yeah. it sounds like they want to make it more spicier. Ours is more like soury, sugary, but with the saltine, it's yeah. salty too. So it gives it a good. Flavor of all th- three. Mm. Hell yes. Hell yes. Sorry, I was looking up. Uh, but all's in this bullshit. Come out. The onions. It seems like most of it all is onions. It's it it gives it a good flavor to it. Again, I I I'm not in. I'm not disagreeing with y'all that onions add really good flavor to food. I just don't. Yeah, no. Like them. Fuck yeah. the, I don't like the way they mm-hmm. feel. Like it's just. What the fuck is that, Kane? Yeah, yeah, it's Kane. Being a mopey boy. Didn't you say he needed to go to the restroom? I'll take him out when we're done. Okay. <laughs> we're almost done anyway. It is. We gotta edit this shit. Try and get some slizzle. Mm. Try and get some sleep? Yeah. Ooh. Hold on, buddy. No, All right, no, no, hold on. No. Guess on that note. No. You already wrapped this bitch up? Yeah. Hold on, mijo. We're about to go. Episode 298. Episode 298, cabrones. 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 Hey. Oh, look, buddy, you're on the video. What? Look, mom, I made it. All right. 
All right, that was episode 290. We'll catch you hoes next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.